oh, that's where he lives. Don't make him homeless. It's sort of that. But then what people like OJ will do is get a really massive home, put, sink all their value in that, and, yeah. and, and it can't be touched. Although OJ just seemed to ignore the court for years anyway and be just fine. It, it he seems was just, like he doesn't care. Dude, the longer he goes, the more on his side I am. Who's to say? Who's Have to you say? not seen any of the documentaries or television <laughs> shows? Yeah, Kyle, I've watched all of them, same as you, and I just have a difference of opinion. I'm a I, I like, think I think I don't think he did. I don't think he killed that lady. And shut up. Her. If if, mm-hmm. if you uh, if you go and watch, if you want to see a wonderful mini series, I know I've recommended it before, but but for everybody needs to hear it every time I say it. The the I think it's called the People versus OJ. Simpson. OJ, it's, yeah, it's the one with Cuba Gooding Jr. playing OJ. No dogs. And from Snow Dogs, <laughs> the man won a he won a Oscar. He, he Radio. He played a retarded guy. Yeah. He also was in Men of Honor with Robert De Niro. He Very was, good movie. Carl Bashir, first, was a good black actor. US, first black um, U.S. Navy uh, diver, rescue diver. It's a it's a crazy accomplishment that he that, that he made post World War II. So <laughs> what is on. what's the real evidence that O.J. did anything wrong? You know uh, everything, everything. He had her blood on him, and and his blood was found there, and. Like his, her blood was all over his house on his belongings and his truck. I think. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And his like DNA never, was on the I was scene, too young like, to follow along with it. Like and that glove fit. It's, like, the only reason it, the glove didn't fit is he had a like rubber surgical glove on. Under. And he's look. We can all make a nut glove not fit. You, you yeah. You open your hand. Like like you you go you, you go all feminine when you want a glove yeah. to really get on. You you fucking get dainty with that shit. He's he's up there with his big man hand, like nope, won't go on, boss. Dude, even putting oh, on a glove, Johnny, that's like, a rubber slightly, glove on. Yeah, he having a rubber, rubber glove, glove on. on can make it hard to put a glove on that's like even slightly too big for you. It's grippy. They were it's, fitting gloves. They were they were. You're a fitted ISO ISO. What do you call them? ISO toner. Yeah. yeah. All his but shit was nice. Johnny was Cochran amazing. is a genius for that, bro. His yeah, alibi was that he was in his front yard golfing for ninety minutes and no one saw him. Yeah, that's you, a pretty bad alibi. T- mm. Taylor, I highly recommend this mini series because David um, Schwimmer um, from Friends he plays uh, Kardashian. So you may not know this. This is a this is a fun little thing. <laughs> Kim Kardashian's dad was OJ's best friend. Okay, mm-hmm. like best those families were intertwined, and so they're present in this the it, during the whole thing. Um, I, um. And so David Schwimmer is, is Kim Kardashian's dad, and he's he plays OJ's best friend. And as the thing goes on, he's he's starting to be like, the fuck's going on here? Wait a minute. What the fuck? What do you mean? They found blood where? <laughs> and like <he's>, <laughs> <laughs> like you see OJ's best friend start come to realize that he fuck, killed he, her. Yeah. He fucked and everybody starts to realize. And at the very end, OJ's out and he's free and he's trying to hobnob and like press the flesh. Because you got to remember this as well. Not remember, but know this about OJ. Huge celebrity back back then. This would mm-hmm. be like, I don't know, like not not who's beloved by all. Patrick and, Mahomes. And Patrick Leslie Mahomes. Nielsen. It'd be like if Patrick <laughs> Mahomes walked into fucking Outback Steakhouse. Everybody's shaking his hand and fucking loving him up. O- but at the end, everybody's looking at OJ funny. All them white people, especially they, th- those were his buddies. Like. I don't know if I can be seen with you anymore, uh, Mr. James. Uh, well, Mr. Maybe. James, it's the huge amount of blood all over your things. That's what I It's upsetting the customers. You, oh, you, you're you wearing the gloves, sir. Yes. <laughs> Imagine Tom Brady, like that he level of fame, mm. after football started making movies. Yeah, he That's was how famous OJ was. Naked yeah, Gun he was, series. He was doing mm-hmm. TV it commercials. Was commercials. Mm-hmm. It, was those, it, was it was those insurance commercials. Stuff. He yeah. was like the Allstate man. He was on all the fucking time. It wasn't Avis. And, and the uh, car rental. Oh no, I'm just saying like. Okay. I, I don't. Mean. Nobody knows what Avis is. Anymore. I'm saying like like today you have the Allstate man. Like like I I know that guy when I see him. Or like J.K. Simmons with uh, the other insurance uh, place. Yeah. He was like a, a household name and a nice guy, and he'd always had this. I don't know how to put this, but he was not going to stand up for black people ever. Any time that there was an issue where you could maybe pull a Muhammad Ali and be like, keep your fucking money, Whitey. No, fuck you. That's wrong how you're treating my 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 black brother. OJ was going to OJ. What did he say? Hmm. Um, I'm not black. I'm OJ. That's a direct quote. Yes. He, that's what Jay, Jay-Z even said that in the song. That's a good fucking song. Yeah. It was so legit back in those song. days. Yeah. I, but it, it, I, I listened to it. And then you have the rumors that. 
Khloe Kardashian looks like OJ too, right? So it's like that's how Khloe Kardashian on. is a hundred percent OJ Simpson's daughter. OJ yeah. was boning <laughs> uh Card- his best best friend's wife. Look, look at that bitch. She looks like she could run for some yardage too. All right. The rest Before of them the plastic like surgery. That. Like 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 and the crazy thing is they the rest of them, um, you know, Bruce Jenner is the other super athlete who was uh Chris Jenner was was hooked up with some of the 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 most athletic supermen of her of her time, I guess. Um, but yeah, OJ did that shit a hundred percent Taylor. It it's like not even questionable. It's so crazy. All right, so here's the conspiracy theory that I could buy a little bit. <laughs> Never will you convince me that like Oh, it was just crazed killers in the night. You know how it is. Over in mm-hmm. the richest neighborhood in America. No, I could believe that OJ's son had had seen enough, had had enough of his dad's name being drugged through the, the mud, had had enough of his mom blowing Jewish waiter, waiters in his daddy's house, <laughs> and he was going to put a fucking stop to it. And he went over there and did some shit, and OJ showed up. Or, or maybe he goes back to OJ, and he's like, what have I done? And OJ's like, what did you do? And let, and they they stuck everything together with glue and OJ paid the lawyers and they kept and he said, I'll take the bullet for my son if I have to. You'd like to believe that about the juice. You'd like to because, man, he could run. We looked it up. That we those, looked it up. those yards. No one realized how many yards per game that man was getting until we fucking looked it up. And then I understood a little bit of how he got off, too, because, I mean, it's just unfathomable. Have you seen it's the so Family dumb. Guy episode where they make fun of it? Where like. OJ comes on as a character. Obviously, he's not actually voiced by OJ, uh-huh. but the whole time is like a redemption arc for him where, you know, Peter's like, <laughs> oh, wow, I guess he's not so bad or whatever the fuck. And at the very end, like OJ is like talking to the whole town who came to storm the Griffin's house and be like, we want him out of here. And he's like, I've made mistakes. Sure. Who among us hasn't? But <laughs> to say I've done that, it's egregious. And everyone's like, like the like the almost Simpsons end of the episode where everyone kind of learns something. And then in like the last two seconds, he there's a blonde woman standing next to him and he goes, <laughs> and he stabs her to death and then runs away. And Peter's like, ah, I guess she did. He did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. That I got to look one. that up now. Catches you, catches you Family off. Guy has some snarky, like quick humor sometimes. There was one recently where this lady smoking at the bar and uh, the guy comes up and he's like, ah, I'm sorry, ma'am, you can't smoke here. And she goes, oh, I'm transgender. And he goes, oh, well, then carry on doing whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Part of OJ's demons <laughs> was that he didn't have the athletic ability to best a woman in hand-to-hand combat. He said that his knees were too beat up. So the prosecution put on an exercise tape in VHS that he had put out like a month before the thing of him doing jazzercise. Not only that, that's a not terrible only they... defense. That's that's literally unbelievable. It gets bad. worse. It gets worse. You know what else he did? So the jazzercise thing was a little older than a month, maybe a year. But a month before she was <laughs> murdered, he was taking part in a knife combat class. <laughs> For a movie, it was like no. Not- I've never heard that before. Practice what you was, preach. It was like a knife combat. It's a method class. actor. He took some for respect. some sort of for a movie role or something like that. You know, they thought of him for the Terminator. He was one of the yeah. four or five names. Yeah. And, and and one of the things they said is like, come on, he's too likable. <laughs> yeah. And he's you not. Know, he's not as juicy as fucking Arnold. You need a. Well, big... they didn't want Ar- Ar- they didn't want Arnold either. Arnold. Arnold was like became- a fourth choice, I think. You know that guy's getting paid well too. If he's Cosby's lawyer, he's got that pudding money. He's still got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cosby. Uh, I, I don't think he. I don't think he's going to see uh, jail though, or prison. Uh, well, I he think, won't I see think, it, but he's going. I think there's going to be a thing. <laughs> they are going to pour out the. Oh my God, how many years does he have left? He's blind. He's crippled. He, I think they'll slap something around his ankle and shove him in, into his house and tell him to. Drop dead. <laughs> Maybe he punishment. kills himself. I feel like I feel like he deserves some sort of punishment because, like, when, when there were ten women accusing him, I was I had some hope for Doctor Huxtable. I was like, he, they might this might be a conspiracy yeah. to try to take another powerful black man down, just like they did to OJ, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just like they did to Michael Vick. Strong okay? points. <laughs> you know, two strong, each. wealthy, innocent black men in their prime, just cut down by by racism and lies. And I, I thought they're coming for Cosby now. They're coming for Cosby now. That's what this is. But 
then 30, 40, and then 50 women came out. And it's not just like Janice Dickinson. It's just, it's not just like dirty old Hollywood whores. It's just like, it's like women who are like in their later years who are chunky and probably don't want to go in front of the camera and talk about being raped by Bill Cosby. And they're just yeah. all teary eyed. Like, he, he slipped me the lewds and my pudding pops. <laughs> and he, <laughs> and he Did you see a mod? Did you see Ahmad Rashad's uh, wedding picture from years yeah. ago? It's Ahmad Rashad. He, ma- he wound up marrying the, the one, woman that plays uh, Mrs. Huxtable um, years ago. And their groomsman is Bill Cosby and OJ. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So Bill Cosby and OJ are standing right beside them as he's ready to get married. <laughs> if you can't pick two worst fucking people. <laughs> Is Ahmad oh, Rashad the dead dude? Two. Is he the one that died? The ESPN dude? Who am I mixing uh, them up with? UNC grad? I don't think so. No? Ahmad Rashad. Wow, that's hilarious, that photo. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it says he was a, or is a sportscaster. And yeah, but imagine that. You, there, every one of your wedding photos has a, either a murderer or a rapist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the uh, Have you seen the OJ interview where he's like speaking in the third person about well, you know, <laughs> and, and then there was and then there was blood everywhere and, and stuff, and they're like, but the other person saw the blood. Yeah, yeah, he saw it, not me. Yeah, there was so much blood <laughs> all over. It was just shocking how much blood. It's like OJ. Wake up. You're, you're, confess, you're confessing to murder. <laughs> oh, man. OJ. But, like, if he, like, he got so big for his britches with all that shit. Writing a book, you know, if I did it, this yeah. is how I would have. That's a, t- I doubt Cosby's releasing that. Well, I did do it, and here's my tales of the right. <laughs> like, no, he's, no, he wouldn't. That, that's serious balls. To murder someone and have so many, or allegedly murder someone and have so many people believe it, and then write a book detailing your your strat. He, he, he knows, right? That we all know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think he must, right? Is OJ like, out of jail now? Or is he OJ? Yeah. Oh, the juice is loose, baby. He's oh, in yeah. Vegas he, right now. He, he's out in Vegas, uh, hmm. tearing it up, having fun at night. He's taking pictures with blondes, and you know he's back out. He's OJ. What kind of daddy issues must they have if they're hooking up with fucking O.J. Simpson? No shit. (laughs) That's a uh, here's here's what O.J. really needs to worry about. The day O.J. really needs to watch his back every second of the day. A Fred Goldman cancer diagnosis. Oh shit! Like if Fred (laughs) Goldman ever hears that he's got a terminal disease, O.J. better watch his ass because that's when he's gonna. Sneak up behind him and blow his head off. OJ's fucking lining that putt up on the fucking <laughs> yeah. golf course. And hey, who's that? Is that is that Fred Goldman? That looks like Fred <laughs> Goldman. That looks like Fred Goldman over there. What's he got that gun for? Oh shit! And just yeah, I, and I'm he so hobbling away on those bad knees. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Over the course of the years, Fred Goldman hasn't tried in some way to uh, have OJ eliminated. Yeah. He may have had something to do with that whole setup job that sent OJ to fucking jail, that, right? Like that. And if that had happened to anyone else, we'd have, we'd have been like, you know, this is a fucking conspiracy to take down a a, a rich, that, wealthy black man, right? It was a Yo, harsh man. sentence for uh, oh. take it, stealing your own shit back. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard the? Uh, they had audio running. Of course, it was a setup. It was a fucking conspiracy, con- conspiratorial setup against OJ Simpson, and nobody cared. The no. judge didn't care. His, his OJ's lawyer didn't care. OJ's like, you ain't gonna say nothing about that. Just let it go, man. Just let it slide. It's yeah. not gonna be a big deal. What do you mean? It's out of you or me saying everybody sit fucking down. Nobody's going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, no, poor. If no OJ uh, for that one. If OJ came to you and was really wanting to get into you know podcasting and online broadcast, <laughs> would you make a little corner of Compound Media for him, or would the fact that you know he's He's kind of a loose cannon. Say no. Be cordially welcome. Yes. <laughs> compound media. I, it's uh, the it, it, no one is denied. Put it this way: we sat. I had two meetings uh, with Anthony Weiner about doing a show on Compound Media. So, and then you know he was put in prison for um, 
soliciting a 15 year old for uh, sex. So uh, um, I'm glad this was before that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you well, can just be a call in show. You know, you only get 30 minutes a day. It's perfect that, for the segment. <laughs> you know, when, when every other place says no, we say yes. Yeah. Dude, if OJ Simpson had a podcast, a radio show, any sort of, oh. if he if he had some sort of like, ESPN show like after fucking football games it was the OJ show and he was going to have like some some guy from the old ga- days and they were going to like talk about the games of, of, of the past Sunday I'd watch every fucking of minute of that because you're to. waiting on him to slip up and, and be like oh he took her out like like Nicole <laughs> you know I cut Nicole's head clean the fuck off y'all know that right oh <laughs> shit I say it out loud we ain't rolling right yeah yeah, yeah. this ain't on live <laughs> I would watch every second of O.J. Simpson doing any fucking thing. I'm yeah. I'm fascinated by that guy. I'm absolutely fascinated by him. I mean, I don't OJ's, think I'd want to hang out with him. Is he living oh, a I good would, life? Like, how, how is he living he, the good life? I don't know. I wouldn't want to constantly be under. Like, everyone knows I'm a murderer. A lot, most people don't like him. We're sitting here making fun of him right now. Dude, see, that's not the experience that he has, though. Mm-hmm. He walks around, and everybody wants to meet him. Everybody wants their yeah. picture taken with him. They want to buy him a drink. They want to have a meal with him. They want to do stuff with OJ. Like everywhere he yep. goes, everything, he's a celebrity. He's, he's walking around LA, uh, Vegas right now, having a good old fucking time. I think, I think so. Hmm. Yeah. I think he's, you know, he was supposed to, like, a condition of his, um, his uh, probation was that he moved to Florida. And he's just stayed in Vegas. <laughs> and and I don't know about uh, uh, I don't know how he's allowed to go to bars and drink and stuff. The guy is on parole. He was paroled. So how the hell does does he get away with doing all this shit uh, on film and nothing happens to him? What about uh, Cosby? Is Cosby living the life? That I mean, no, no. no. See now, no. Look, I think I would take Cosby's life. Over wow. OJ's life. Well, wow. Hear me out. Hear me what? out. Cosby lived the life of his dreams. Lots of lewds, lots of rape. Good old time. All the way until the last like two, three years. And then the last two, three years are lousy and stressful. <laughs> OJ, on the other hand, I mean, he was like, what, 40? When like yeah. <laughs> when, he, when his trouble started coming up? And he's had the last 30 years, 20 years? Nah, of... he did like nine. Dude. Yeah, but think oh, about his but that controversy he's... bothered him. It made him... It elevated his. St- now he wouldn't get any more car car rental commercials. All right, he wasn't Nordberg anymore. Anymore, Leslie Nielsen would not return his phone calls. Mm-hmm. But he was still slaying pussy. He was still on the golf course every week, and he was still think, having a great. I, I think life. that the whole murder thing put a real crimp in his style, and he would have lived slaying a nicer pussy. life. Uh, slaying pussy. Cosby was slaying pussy. Slaying it. I mean, there were some pills involved, and the pussy didn't know. But he was having a dandy of a time. If anyone's a bigger pussy slayer, it's O.J. fucking Simpson. He <laughs> cut her head off. He That's cut it true. off. I don't, Woody, I don't think you're thinking about the legacy of all this. Like, Oh, legacy you know, doesn't 50, affect dead people. It affects oh, living it, people. It does, it does for famous people who kind of want their memory to live on. Oh. Like 50 years from now, people will remember Cosby as the rapist. Mm-hmm. Like, like everybody... And what will they rape. remember it's OJ It's kind of a societal as. thing. They'll remember O.J. as like an eccentric maybe murderer. You know, like that's what they're gonna think no because they're gonna way. look back on his. They're gonna look back at his Instagram and see after <laughs> his, his murders, uh, alleged murders, when he's standing there like at bars doing pickle shots with people. Dude, there Whereas they're gonna see pictures of Cosby in yeah. his jumpsuit with his guilty as sin looking, you know, hollow doll I, eyes. The, like, I, you know. Here, my argument is OJ had to live with his legacy. He spent half of his life. With people calling him a murderer, joking about what a murderer he is, accusing him face. of being a murderer. Oh, Not oh. to his face. <laughs> well, he's a murderer. You got to be careful. But but mostly, it's out there, right? Whereas Bill Cosby spent his whole life as America's hero, right? People think Bill Cosby was Cliff Huxtable. I thought he was one of them. He didn't curse in his stand-up routine. Cosby lived his whole life with only two or three years at the end of knowing his legacy. All right, so let me let me say, it seems like you're saying, would you rather have one life or the other, like their entire life? Yeah. Like having lived the life of Cosby or um, OJ, right. or would you rather have their life right now? 
closer like, to like this you have to step into their body right now who enjoyed their life more is the question i'm really asking right and who I, is enjoying their life more right now well no i would see, say the oj but yeah, on, yeah. On, on, all right i'm with you on there right right now cosby's a little stressed a little blind a little <laughs> old stuff like that but oh. if you take the entirety of their life experiences right. i think cosby's got it I all think you're over right there yeah cosby has had a much longer uh a good run loved them and he was drugging chicks and having sex with them. I don't know. I, I would probably, uh, I would probably pick OJ because I feel like, I feel like the life experience of being like a star athlete must have been incredible for him. And like, you know, he was in the movies. He was, he, he that was. That is true. But... He was making tons of money. And that he was rich, famous, and and there's, it must have felt great to like get away. Get away with, with murder. Get away with that whole thing, right? I remember I, that's another thing that like I was a kid, but I remember like going to my grandma's house and sitting there watching the fucking O.J. Simpson trial and, and just like, watching Marsha Clark run around with her perm and, and, and just thought the if the glove don't fit, you must have quit the whole fucking thing. Judge Ito up there just buying all this shit I, like it was yesterday, man. It it was incredible. It was it really was the trial. They say the trial of the century or they say the blank of the century all the time and it's horseshit. That really was the trial of the century. Huge. That was that was crazy. That was huge. And then when they went like, we, the jury, find the defendant, Arnthal James Simpson, not guilty. And, and you just saw Robert Kardashian actually went, <laughs> <laughs> we, not guilty? This motherfucker killed two people. Like Robert <laughs> Kardashian knew that he was guilty. And he's like, did I just hear not guilty? It's a murder, you dumb fucks. <laughs> that was amazing. I worked at a call center at the time, right? So picture a cube farm with those like rib cage high cubes as far as the eye can see. Everyone stops taking calls. The phones are ringing. They all uh, gather yeah. towards this one. This is the 90s. One boom box playing FM radio where we listened to the to the like uh, the verdict get read. And we were all shocked. Everyone was shocked that he got off. And it was like, that's it? Yeah. They, there was a... The court TV, like news channels were spawned by just playing. It, it act, it. Yeah, they came from that trial. Uh, court TV, mm -hmm. uh, no one watched court TV. And then all <laughs> of a sudden you didn't not watch court TV <laughs> and it turned into something else. And, and now, you know, people are a little more uh, legal savvy, I guess. I don't know. Some yeah. people, unless you're in a car and you get pulled over and think you're a, a – a car window lawyer. <laughs> I'm a sovereign. Am American. I being detained? Those are the worst people. Uh, Am I being detained? Are you detaining me? <laughs> why have you pulled me over? And then he says why. And why have you pulled me over? <laughs> I'm a sovereign citizen under maritime uh, law. Yeah. Under maritime <laughs> law. Under <laughs> sea <laughs> law. This is my <laughs> ship. This vessel. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Toyota Corolla, sir. <laughs> I am a sovereign citizen of maritime. <laughs> that's a real thing. People say Yeah, it. that's a real thing. There, there are like maniacs if you go on YouTube and look up the sovereign citizen thing. Oh, I've seen like, them. Yeah. They really think you can do whatever you want. And like when they do get pulled over and start getting arrested and there you just get like the side footage, the audio footage when their iPhone yeah. falls to the ground, <laughs> you know, they're they're actually shocked. You can't no, remove me from my, my vessel. <laughs> I have the freedom to travel and – you cannot uh, take that away from me. And uh, uh, they wind up breaking the window, <laughs> dragging them out. And the best thing to do when a cop is trying to cuff you is uh, fight and yell, don't touch me. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> like Romania, whatever the fuck. So from, from Austria, Austria and you Austria. couldn't, you couldn't, you know, obviously there are very strict rules about this and you couldn't get a tank, even though obviously this was, just for his museum, but you know he was buddies with Bush, and so I think it was uh, Rumsfeld or Cheney had to like s personally sign an order allowing an exemption for this tank to be imported into America. But that's you know we're we're sitting there. I'm sitting with Schwarzenegger at the table, and I'm I'm next to his stunt double from True Lies, and he's telling me stories about how he nearly crashed the limousine. And that scene with Jamie Lee Curtis yeah. nearly crashed her off the edge of the bridge with Jamie Lee Curtis and James Cameron in the limo. <laughs> and, and next to me, Schwarzenegger's talking about meeting Mikhail Gorbachev. And you're just like, uh, like this guy, the, it's just ridiculous to think of, of like all that he's done and the, yeah. the world impact he's had. Um, 
Yeah, which yeah, Schwarzenegger which, is fascinating. Uh, it's yeah. great. It's, Anybody it's who great. Anybody excels in like one of the areas that he's made it right. high in is like a success. Like if you become right. a governor, you're pretty successful. If you become Mr. Olympia, you're pretty successful. If you, you know, star in what a dozen blockbuster movies, and, like and like his third that? role was he have a tank. His <laughs> third role was like Conan the Barbarian. Ah, uh, don't forget and Hercules like, in New York. That was the real right. breakout role. <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing because he was like, I want to be a movie star, and they're like. No, you're going to be the bouncer or the bad guy. He's like, I'm going to be the star. And he, yeah. so he, third or fourth I'm role. Say saying no to this guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's just enormous. And, you know who they as, were considering as the Terminator before? O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. And yes. they turned it down because O.J. was, quote, too likable. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. The That's 80s were a different time. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> well, who was that? They said, uh. It was Howard Cosell interviewing O.J. Simpson and Bruce Jenner. There's a photo of him between those two. And it was like, and somebody put the meme was something like, I've seen the future and you guys aren't going to believe what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Fucking O.J. is a scary motherfucker. Like, like although I, I say it all the time. I'm like, look, he. It's a double murder, okay? You know, he, he and a right. terrifying individual. But but boy, is he good in the naked gun? <laughs> right in the naked gun, he kills it. Can, that, that man can do slapstick. When he it makes when up for one the bus, of the murders in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It it really is amazing when you yeah to and and again uh, to to look at the life he was leading to that point, and and then to get away with the double murders. Only to screw it up. Like you're out. You 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 did it. You got away with it. And then you commit another crime and end up in jail. It, it's uh, it's these. Who would believe it if it were a movie? You 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 just wouldn't. If he if he you wouldn't believe it. If they told you like we're gonna do a new spin next uh, next season, you're gonna have a co-host. It's O.J. Simpson. <laughs> well, so you know, uh, I I love Anthony Cumia. And, and Artie Lang and and when the juice was released, Anthony was like, I would give him a show on this network tomorrow. Yeah. And it was one of those things where I'm like, I'd probably listen to at least the first episode. I yeah. mean, you feel awful saying that, but but at the same time, there is this we have this morbid fascination. Hey, I didn't know Nicole. All right, right. Let's get real here. <laughs> like 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 I don't know, I, I didn't know Ron Goldman. Like, like, like I, you know, I hey, hey. They were running around town with that man's money. They were fucking in his house. Uh, uh, he shows really up one the, night. The damn near beheading that put it over the edge. Yeah. Right? Right. Well, I mean, like he said in that interview where he murder. fake confessed, he just got a little oh. carried away and blacked out. And when he came to, there was blood everywhere. You know, I like, mean, like it's tell me you haven't had a Saturday night like that. He won the Heisman. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. It's, yeah. You see that man run? Come on. He's got this bad to, knees to now. Well, that was. When I moved out to L.A., I moved out in September of 99. So it was still relatively fresh. And I drove a white Ford Bronco, which was fantastic to be driving around the L.A. highways in that. Uh, really good to pick up a girl in a white Ford uh, Bronco back then. Yeah. I, uh, I saw a lot. one on the Internet. It was a white Bronco and the license plate says not O.J., which yeah. I thought was fucking <laughs> that's, hilarious. That's good. That's good. I shouldn't see. I wasn't smart enough to come up with that. It was yeah, when, when, yeah. As, should... I, I would. I, I'm fascinated by O.J. Simpson. I, I would love if, like, if he did an interview now, or if he had his own show. Man, if right. he had his own show, I would watch that shit relentlessly. Well, it's it's what they said. Where we're you know we're getting to this point of what's next. We we you do get so dulled when you can see anything on the internet of the the shock value. Just what you were saying, how the Donkey Kong whatever seven years ago was you know enough to get a show off the air, and now. You know, probably like a 16 year old would do it on a YouTube channel and get a million hits. Yeah. And it would go viral so you're right. As you're, the Donkey you're, Come you're, Challenge, right? The it, donkey right? Come it'd challenge. just be repeated again and again by or everyone. Autism. Of these. Yeah. <laughs> or autism. <laughs> right. Yeah. They don't even get it. This is actually a it. program to identify the autistic people drinking cum. You know? <laughs> right. We're very literal. Yeah, we're, it, uh, we're yeah it's aware. amazing, I'm sure. OJ never just, paid either. Don't like that. Yeah, OJ did something worse. People died. 
Allegedly. Doesn't make him any less of a Allegedly. Green Jersey guy, so. <laughs> That's a hilarious one to still be like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, it came out in the wash. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, we might still see Nicole Smith. You proved to me she's dead. Look, as so non-football fans, we weren't aware of how what how many yards he actually ran for. When we looked it up, I got it. Suddenly, I understood the whole thing from a different light. When mm-hmm. two thousand yards in a what was a fourteen game season? Come on, let him go. Let him go. Yeah, let him go. Get him out of here. If it came out Wayne Gretzky was like a drug smuggler, get out of here. And you know, the more you dig into drug that, drug is a public service. He really got some people high. It is. Give him you another know, she's, record. Oh, she's not blowing. Not she's him. blowing waiters in his mansion that he that he bought, running all those fucking yards. He's looking in the windows like you motherfucker. You you know he showed back up with he did what he did. You know what my favorite theory about that is, and I'm I'm actually. Like 30% think that OJ's son did it. A lot of people think OJ's son did the murder and that okay. the reason that his stories are weird and that there's some evidence that looks bizarre and he and he just straight up won't explain certain things is because he can't because the son did it. Ah. They think the son and, how old was and, uh, his son at the time? Do you know I think like I think like 18 to 22, somewhere in that that range. It's but he hated that. Range. I'm guessing but, over what he looks like in the in the like show though. Okay. And he hated that his dad or his That's mom or whatever was like cheating on OJ like, with well no, they were separated you know Bush he beat her was. constantly but he was blowing you know she's she's running around with waiters and such you know on o, on OJ's dime yeah okay well I've never heard that one before and don't get me wrong there's absolutely fucking predators out there who are like fucking you know like they Weinstein guy fucking like oh, yeah, degenerate predators who are who are now where they belong to be um like Bill Cosby you know free on the streets mm-hmm. and and Fine. uh but but I must be proven I, I, innocent. I think no, he was he was proven to be a great deal maker. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound right to me. No, yeah, no, if he wasn't innocent, he wouldn't be on the streets. How funny would it yeah. be if like two <laughs> weeks before that happened, Trump was like, and I've been talking to my old friend Bill. I gave him a couple of tips on a deal. You know, we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it there goes. Were, <laughs> it's like Trump responsible for freeing serial <laughs> We were uh, in my uh, in my motorcycle course, there was um by the second day, you know, the two Puerto Rican guys had quit and one of the black guys could, had quit. So it was, um, what was it? Three white guys and two black guys. And uh, and I usually get get along much better with black people than I do white people for whatever reason. And like me and the two black guys are kind of palling around and, and we're, we're, in, we're inside like getting some air conditioning on a break. And uh, I started talking to him about OJ's Twitter. I was like, have y'all seen OJ's Twitter? He's like, they're like, OJ Simpson? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. OJ, they're like, he got a Twitter? I'm like, yeah, it's awesome. He's great. He's fucking hilarious on there. Like, like they're like, they're like, oh, I gotta check this shit out. They're pulling their phones. We're, we're looking at OJ's Twitter. We're all piling around about it and everything. And I'm like, what do y'all think about all that shit? I was like, I'm pretty sure that like they railroaded him that second time around. I was like, they're secretly recording in the room. I don't think he should have gotten any trouble for that. They're like, yeah, for sure. I'm like, what about that shit back in '92? They're like, oh, that shit. <laughs> 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 and the other one mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like an understood thing everybody knows he did. <laughs> like 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 it's just like because I, I was wondering if they were gonna be like you know man the wheels of justice back then who's to say who's to say but they were just like oh no he cut those people's heads off <laughs> and, and, and after they said that i was like well maybe that's what you get for running around with a man's money you know and they were both like damn right damn right <laughs> Because <laughs> Nicole, you know, running around with OJ's money, fucking this other dude in his house. Who was shit. the other like, guy that that he? Ron what was Goldman. The, Ron Goldman, and he and Ron Goldman was fucking OJ's wife. Yeah, he, he's like he's he's get his dick sucked in OJ's living room. OJ's outside looking in the in the windows and shit. Like it's a he wasn't gonna have that. He's not gonna have his like you can't blonde do OJ. You can't do that shit to OJ. He's the juice. You know how many yards he ran for? <laughs> oh man, this guy's Wikipedia page. Have Ronald you seen Lynn a car Goldman. rental commercial in Did, the last decade? I remember their argument was that OJ Simpson wasn't athletic enough to do this crime. And uh they're like OJ? You know, yes. <laughs> yeah, they're like he his hips are ruined, his knees are wrecked, like all this stuff. And the prosecution's like Here's his jazzer size VHS tape. Yeah. That he <laughs> <out. He's just> <laughs> <like>. <laughs> yeah, they were claiming that he was decrepit and broken. No, OJ was still, I mean, he wasn't going to run for any more yards in the NFL, but he was head and shoulders above the average man. 
He's a big dude to begin with. He's a natural athlete. One of the best running backs who ever played the fucking game. He was only 45 when he did it. Yeah, he you cut those people's fucking about heads off. Getting along with black people. And yeah. uh, so I'm trying to learn to wheelie my motorcycle. I'm bad at it. I can wheelie a little, but I'm bad. And uh, there's a group of guys in every major city, Raleigh included, that like wheelie their illegal dirt bikes around the city. And uh, I was I was hanging out with my black, fr- black friend. It was yesterday. And I'm like, do you think they teach me to wheelie? Am I too white to get along? And he's like, no, nah, man, they love you. You got to try it. Go down there. Make friends. Uh, he might be setting me up to be killed. I don't know. Yeah. But. Yeah. Probably. So. probably. <laughs> he served. Of course. He overserved a life sentence by four years, technically. Yeah. So if anything, we should let him out. Give him a knife. <laughs> to test his resolve. To, to not also speaking murder of someone. murders who have been freed i i i, I, I was directed oh. toward oj simpson's twitter account can, yesterday can I, before i just people might be interested in the answer the court said he's either alive where he needs to stay in prison or he's dead where this appeal is moot so yeah he, he did not win his case anyway oh! <laughs> somebody directed me toward oj simpson's twitter account and i didn't realize it but they had tricked me they had sent me like a, a joke account but he the joker is like those people who am, am, like pretend to be wings on twitter like mm-hmm. it's close enough that you don't catch it yeah he's just like an o with a zero or something and it's it wasn't even the name it was more like the tweets were kind of professional he's like <laughs> you know he, he, there's some tweets about how the bills are doing this year you know he pleased to play for the bills and then it's like hello twitter world i'm gonna cut right to the point here and get <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, did he just say he's gonna cut right to the point? That's that's a little edgy, OJ. And then he's like, I'm having a pumpkin carving contest this year. What do y'all think of mine? And it's just a pumpkin that's been slashed off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, OJ, you just don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> and I was I was typing my friends, I was like, he just doesn't give a shit, huh? And they're like, it's a joke account, Kyle. It's a joke account. Uh... I'm like, oh thank God. Thank God, because I thought the juice had lost it. You <laughs> fell for a juice fake account, you boomer. <laughs> Look like a real Cal, one. you boomer. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, to be fair, do you guys remember the the like, the like sizzle reel for that O.J. Simpson prank show called Juice? I've, I've seen it. I've watched the whole show, I yeah. I do not know that. I you don't know, know that show? No. There's a... a I'll let Kyle take this one because he seems Simpson really excited to talk show? about this. He had a prank show called he Juice. Had a prank show. There's an episode where he's posing as a. Used Aha, car I bet salesman. you liked your neck attached to the rest of your body. Pranked. <laughs> <You've> been pranked. <laughs> <laughs> There's an episode where he he poses as a used car salesman. He's selling the Bronco. Ooh. He has the bron- He's like, it's great for making a getaway. You know, if if you need to split, need to get out of town real quick. This is the car for you. I'll even sign right here next to these bullet holes. And they're like, is this the Bronco? He's like, yeah, yeah, I got a certificate of authenticity. Dude, and being then, able like, to joke about the murders you definitely probably committed. Takes a real fun. commitment to comedy. I know. There's <laughs> ben, a reason he was in all the Naked Gun movies. He's incredible comedic timing. Weinberg. Yeah, he's great. Then this pretty blonde lady comes up looking oh, at the Bronco. No. And he's oh, like, God. he's like. You know, you look like you take care of yourself. You you care of yourself well. You you get a car like this, man's gonna take one look at it and he's gonna say, "That's a single woman right there," because he's gonna know that nobody ain't taking care of you. Because you know, if you hanging out with me, you won't be driving no car like this. You be taking now care of. This. Do you like <laughs> blood inside your body? <laughs> how do you how do you like your head attached or detached? Because I can go either way. I can go either way. <laughs> <laughs> it is so crazy that he he's hitting on her effectively though that's what's yeah. hilarious and this hidden camera show like like the juice is hitting on i don't know a 28 32 year old somewhere in there very attractive blonde lady and she's like giggly and like definitely receptive toward it and he's just like you know you get a car like this you can have all kind of men coming because they're gonna be able to tell ain't no man taking care of you you ain't taken they go no the windows don't even roll down <laughs> And she's like, yeah, that's funny. You're right. Like he's selling her on it. Like she's down to buy the car. There's also, and I wonder if Asterios has seen this, an OJ Simpson rap video. You ever see that? That I have not seen. Oh God. He's rapping. And Will we get and claimed if we watch it. 
for sure. And then all so that money is going to go to that murderer, so we can't watch it. We got claim There's last titties week in the video. The He's got Iron naked movie. whores dancing in the video on him, and they all look like Nicole with their titties out. And he's got midgets in it. He's got a midget dressed as Elvis Presley, and he's dressed as Elvis Presley, and they're dancing together. Him and his midget. I didn't look. think this conversation would have me taking OJ's side in everything. It's hilarious. It's called juicing it or something like that. I don't remember. Oh, it's something rap. fucking I don't ridiculous. Know about the rap. Yeah, mm. it's 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 outrageous. No, I'm but gonna... including a midget. First of all, pro diversity, and I'm mm. all about progressive stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Second it's called all, get hilarious. juiced. Get it's called juiced. get juiced. Yeah. So so that so the fact that there's like an OJ rap video and an OJ prank show makes it not outside of the realm of possibility that he'd have fire tweets on Twitter. Yeah. Like um I I remember when that account came out and I also thought it was OJ because everybody for that for like a couple hours we all thought it was OJ's real Twitter account. It's like, well, no Twitter account is verified in the first couple hours. So it's like, yeah, maybe this is OJ. Oh, wait, no. That OJ does have a Twitter account where he does tweet audacious things. Oh, but no, really? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. like he makes videos of himself. Like, and, and he starts every video by going, hello, Twitter world. The juice here. And he and says just, hilarious shit. Like, he'll be talking about a golf match or something. And he's like... You know, if Tiger loses this, you don't want to know what kind of thing I'm capable of. <laughs> and then we'll just <laughs> cut yes. off the video and it's like, dude, the ultimate troll. You, yeah. you literally probably let me just, killed someone. He'll say things like, let me just cut to the chase here. <laughs> or let me cut all cut through all the bull crap. Like he'll he'll say stuff. Or he, or let, he'll me, say... let me slice through your neck tendons real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stab my way to my next point. You know oh, what? God. You're being a real Ron Goldman right now. <laughs> <laughs> a real Ron Goldman indeed. <laughs> yeah, his account's funny. I like I, I follow him. You know, mixed up in my life. Trying to take what's mine. You know what's gonna happen next? Brentwood, baby. Have you guys seen that OJ is on Twitter? And have you seen the video? that the juice uploaded i saw the one where Couple, at the end right? he's like i've got some vengeance to go about or something along yeah. those lines yeah do you see what norm mcdonald tweeted at him yeah <laughs> I, I liked that on twitter it's hilarious he's like hey uh you kind of tell by the background there what uh golf course you're staying at uh i wouldn't do anything but you never know lots of crazies out there he's basically saying like hey everybody if you look closely, you can tell where OJ lives if you want to go get him. <laughs> That's what he's saying. This is literally saying, he goes, hey, OJ, it's Norm. Listen, be careful about the videos you put out there. I recognize the golf course behind your house. I know the exact street and could easily print your address. Of course, I would never do that. But other than that, <laughs> be careful, Juice. Like, be, just, careful, like, be careful is my favorite, like, threat. You know? Like, like it, it could mean two things. If your mom says be careful, then she cares about you. If your enemy says be careful... He's telling you he's threatening you. Yeah. He it uh Norm McDonald is a <clears throat> national treasure. I, I love that. I was that talking guy. to my dad about OJ today. I um I was talking to him about that this whole thing. We were talking about the trial and everything, you know, the 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 Simpson trial. And uh he was he was like, you know, I saw I, I saw something was on TV about that the other day, and I was looking at that whole thing. He was like, that was a good looking guy that 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 she was running around with that uh that was returning those sunglasses it was like it's like what a damn shame that he killed both those people he's like those were beautiful people and i was mm -hmm. like yeah you don't fuck with that's juice. a hot take <laughs> you know like I, I, their lives had a lot of value they could have been models they they could have yeah I, I i think you know look pretty people are more valuable they just are um a ask any taiwanese auctioneer okay so I, all i and i was like i was like you know what <laughs> That was if, an underappreciated joke. <laughs> if if OJ's current girlfriend were to wink at you, you'd look the other fucking way. Dad's like, oh, hell yes. Hell yes. Absolutely. I was like, he's old, but I bet you the juice can still move when he has to. <laughs> he's scary. Yeah, when he's angry. Remember how we've talked about these uh, mafia guys who are tougher than they look because they go straight from zero to 100, right? Yeah, they just We know you, what the juice you. does, right? Yeah. We know what the juice does. He decapitates you in Brentwood. The man went, first of all, he's one of the greatest athletes of all time. 
Like, there's no getting past it. OJ was an incredible <laughs> athlete. Like, I, I think it's. Imp- I think it plays into how scary he is as okay. an assailant. Oh, I see where you're headed with that. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm not. Nec- I'm not like praising his skills as a I running back. I thought you were like, you know, athletes have more value too. He ran for so many yards in a season. You got to overlook a murder. I thought no. that's what you were doing. No, I was saying that like you might be this isn't this isn't your average upset ex husband. This is this isn't just a professional athlete who's mad at you. This is one of the greatest human athletes that's ever lived. Easily top two hundred and fifty athletes. Think so? Ever? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, he still has records. the the man The man was incredible. He, he incredible athlete. Um, I would I would still be afraid to have any kind of an altercation with OJ Simpson, even at the age of seventy five or whatever he is at this point. Seventy one. Yeah, he's a big boy, and and he's clearly like ready to do some do some violence upon you. He, it, that, that the whole thing was such a weird chapter in American history, him getting away with that thing. But yeah, go follow OJ on Twitter, boys. He, uh, what's he up to I, now? A million yet? God, he had, did he pick up 250,000 today? Yeah. The juice is loose and he is tweeting up a storm. Uh, you know what he, it felt like to me? It felt like he had fallen back into the old Nordberg character from the naked gun. You ever watched the naked gun? movie? Yeah. That with Leslie Nielsen. Oh, I really like those movies. I, I I really do. I like Leslie Nielsen a lot. Um, rest in peace. He's dead. Uh, but the Naked Gun movies especially were some of my favorites. Um, oh, I, I was going to say this. This is completely, this is mildly connected. I was talking about what a great athlete OJ was and how he would still seem dangerous. Do you remember, Woody, when Herschel Walker fought in the UFC? No. Did he fight in the UFC? So Herschel Walker was, uh, he's from Georgia. Um, He was a running back, uh, Heisman Trophy winner. I want to say he was like 50 something or late 40s or something like that. He looked 25. And that's not an exaggeration. Like, I'm not, and I'm not just talking about his physique, his face. He looked, he looked younger than us. And he was 47 or something like that. And his physique was insane. And he just made this transition to mixed martial arts and started knocking motherfuckers out. He's just, just such a natural fucking athlete. It's it, incredible. How old was he? I want to say 47. Let me let me try to... like. He looks badass. Looks like he had two fights. Did he win them both? Yeah. And he fought in strike force. Okay. He's saying recent... Uh, oh, he said in 2016 he wanted to do another fight. But, you know, that was 2016. Yeah. What, what you pull the O.J. Simpson maneuver, right? So, so you they, they can't take your your home, and mm-hmm. and you're able to like divest your other stuff into the home, and, and and then you've got this asset that can't be touched. And I believe that even like like one motor vehicle is protected from any tor- sort of seizure. Mm-hmm. I don't. The, your wages cannot be garnished there, um, especially if you're an actor. Acting wages in particular can't be garnished in any way there. I believe. And so, like, O.J. has all of the he – he's only paid out $133,000 to the Ron Goldman family over the years. And the bulk of that is from when they seized the rights to the book he wrote called If I Did It. Mm-hmm. He's actually come out of pocket for, like, less than what – you couldn't buy the, the Bronco today that he drove for what he's getting <laughs> yeah. Because those things are collector's items. I thought about buying one about two years ago. They're not cheap. <laughs> yeah, especially but, uh, his Bronco. Yeah, his. Like, oh, not his. I don't want his. Uh, there was this. Behind that's the one I want the most. Kind of we've talked about it's this like before. JFK's car. So, oh, that's a good one. I should have mentioned that to her. It's better uh, than JFK's car. Yes, <laughs> um, There was that instance where where um, OJ was on a hidden camera show. Okay. We talked about this before. You remember this? And he's undercover as a used car salesman mm-hmm. selling the white Bronco to a guy, and mm-hmm. and he is so funny. Like, like if he weren't a murderer, he would still be like a celebrity that everyone loved because he's so charismatic. <laughs> at, he's, he's just like, yeah, you know, got to make ends meet somehow. I'm working here now. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, hey, hey, this is a good car. If you need to make a getaway, this is the one. Like, <laughs> Dude, like, is there anyone like more shameless than him with that no. stuff? Writing no. a book, if I did it, doing like a mad TV sketch, pretending <laughs> to sell <laughs> a, a Bronco. And like um, he has no qualms about it. I heard a theory interest. Uh, seems likely uh, he killed those recently. people. 
Oh, he killed those people. <laughs> <laughs> his alibi was he was like practicing his golf shot in the front yard or something. Dude, he's like covered in their blood. You know, where you do your golfing like, <laughs> when you're a well, millionaire. <laughs> the, I remember when they were like, yeah, he was covered in both of their blood. I was like, oh, dang, they got him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he was playing in it. <laughs> like he had, but uh, we don't really need to rehash the OJ Simpson trial. By the way, watch that Cuba Gooding Jr. show. It's so fucking good. The the people versus OJ Simpson. It's my favorite OJ thing I've ever seen. It'll make you root for the juice a little bit. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. No, at the end though, like when he's found uh, not guilty, there's this cool, like the story doesn't end. It goes on for a couple of uh, scenes and you see that he has to live in a world where he's that this is his world now where everybody mm -hmm. is like, Ooh, you're OJ Simpson because yeah, before this happened, he was such a beloved celebrity that when he walked into a room, it was like, "That's OJ Simpson." Oh mm -hmm. my god! Like, 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 like you're a hero. He's either your hero or like the guy who makes you laugh, or the guy you aspire to be, or just that really cool guy from the insurance commercials. Like he was such a celebrity. Wasn't there a Seinfeld episode where where Elaine is dating the guy? Like yep. Ben Rifkin, who has the name yep. as a serial killer, and they're coming up with potential new names. And she's OJ. like, How about OJ? Ooh, that's cool. And it's like <laughs> a couple of years before all that <laughs> shit went down. Yeah. I would watch that. It's just like, I'm at the age, like, I was too young to like even know that shit was going on, like, as a cultural thing, as it was happening. Like, and I, I did I like, you were it almost also, every, like, you didn't. I oh, watched it almost every day. Uh, my grandmother was uh, obsessed with it. And I spent weekends with her back, like oh. during that time, whatever, whatever year that was. That it, I was probably five or six, and I would be with her through the weekends, and that's what we watched. That was on TV all day, and okay. we would sit there and like, like I don't know, you know, my my grandma would make like peas for dinner, and so you have to like get the peas out of the pod. So we'd sit there like separating peas, watching the OJ <laughs> trial, or like I don't know, whatever we were doing, it's on over there, and we're paying attention as much as a six year old could pay attention to this thing. But I definitely remember the the verdict and how everyone was shocked and hearing mm -hmm. basically that a man killed some people with a knife and they let him go and not understanding why. Yeah. Let's see well, they we were I was told why. <laughs> you were told why? Because yeah. they they put a. Uh, I don't even know the stories. They let him put a rubber glove on and then try his regular glove and he did that. No, I was I talking about the Rod No, I was talking about Rodney King. That's oh. why. Uh, I was talking about Rodney King and them not wanting Los Angeles to be burned to the ground again. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want that. People didn't think O.J. Simpson was getting off. This is different. O.J. Simpson killed a white woman. This guy is a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> this guy killed an eight-year-old boy. Yeah, the reason that O.J. Simpson got off is because they beat the shit out of Rodney King the year before. Mm. They had to give him one back. That's what happened. <laughs> and the prosecutor was just awful. Trying yeah. To have him try on the glove. No, don't do it. I love on Seinfeld when they make fun of that. <laughs> Put the bra on. The glove don't fit. You must have quit. Dude, I remember OJ Simpson putting the glove on. And probably a lot of people watching this don't. But like for me, I was in, I was like 22 or something when that was happening. 25. Anyway, that guy had like his hand spread out to make the glove not fit. And that you know, there, there's tight leather men's gloves. Mm -hmm. So they're already kind of a tight fit. And then it, yeah, they barely go. And he had to wear one of those medical like latex gloves because it was evidence. So he has a glove on and he puts the glove on top of the other glove while purposely like expanding his hand to make it not fit as much as possible. And it just like it was so clear what I was seeing. Like, dude, that glove's the right size. You don't want it to fit. Yeah, he doesn't want it to fit. And he's got another glove on at the same time. Yeah, if you've ever put on, a, uh, I'm sure we've all put on gloves before. Sometimes you put on gloves that are pretty small and they fit tight. They're hard to get on. Yeah. That's what was going on there. It looked, it, it's, everyone knows that OJ Simpson killed that woman. And that's why you when he got caught. You saying how I did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't kill her. But if I did, guess how I'd have done it. That's, he's in jail now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're trying to steal something. back memorabilia that he sold. He, he got the maximum, maximum, because they, they caught <laughs> I know. a bullshit crime. Got like 30 years for trespassing yeah. or something. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. 
They're like, we're going to charge you for kidnapping and like, like eight counts of kidnapping, like two for every person involved. And you're like, wait a minute. And, and like, nobody's questioning because like, that's OJ motherfucker. Shut up. Yeah. Right. I, like, I, there it was, was like even... they had caught Dracula. Uh, there was like, har- like, the guy was like, Dra- the guy was like, I want to leave. And he's like, no, no, we got to work this out. Kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. It was, <laughs> was like, what's... They caught Dracula jaywalking and they're like, let's get him while we can. Yeah. Yeah. You know, please do that bullshit though. That's so that's so lame. No, dude. It's in you're the case of OJ, you the show Bully or the documentary Bully. I've seen it, the movie, right? Yeah, and there's this there's this girl that takes a gun onto the bus and they charge with 45 counts of kidnapping. She didn't <laughs> go on that bus to kidnap anybody. Why you even give her that charge? That's one problem with the US legal system. Like they will nail you with ridiculous over the top charges hoping that you plea bargain to something they actually think might fit better. Like how, the how, did they, how did this become public? Not, not the, why are why the cameras there? Televised? Yeah. Do we my, know? My guess is that many, many circumstances like this could be televised, but nobody cares enough. So they don't. I see. So it's basically That's it's my not guess. illegal to do so. So most of these cases don't have enough because I mean, the Rittenhouse stuff was televised too, right? But you don't see this a lot otherwise. You don't see it might have been on the state as well. Like, 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 I really don't know the answer, but it has to be one of those things, right? It has to either depend on mm-hmm. the state or, um, or like maybe it's something that could happen a lot because OJ Simpson was televised, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, it's the good ones that are televised, to be fair, right? Like, like, um, it it is good TV. I can still remember being a little kid at my grandmother's, and she watched the O.J. Simpson trial religiously. Uh, my mom wasn't into it. We didn't watch it at home. But when I was with my grandmother, it was like, it's on, it's on. Let's watch. I, I remember watching hours and hours of that O.J. Simpson trial, and like there was an inv- there was this sort of like everyone knew he was guilty, and in my in my six year old circle or whatever I was at the time. So like like to me it was just like oh they're that that bad man killed that lady and and they're gonna they're gonna get to the bottom of this and then they got to the end and like I think that was the first time in my life that I saw that like bad guys win sometimes <laughs> and like and and we all reacted the same because I'm like looking up at like grown ups and they're all just like but but the DNA and 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 the blood and I'm I don't know what DNA means but but I'm just like. Yeah, it just kind of seemed like that Batman killed her. I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> like that bad man. <laughs> yeah, I, like, was, I don't know. I who was the working juice is. in a cubicle environment at the time, and uh, someone turned on like a transistor radio, and this is a call center. Everybody stopped working. Everyone stopped working and listened to the verdict get announced, and we were shocked that he got off. It was. Uh, I'll never forget the experience. The call centers don't go silent. Right? Yeah. They're just jibber jabber. It's like a cafeteria almost yeah. until the OJ verdict was announced. And um, yeah, I guess he had an excuse for everything. I can't believe the glove thing. Like it was like um, Kabuchi Theater. I think that's what it's called. It, it, he has a latex glove on. This would be like a like a nurse would wear. Everyone knows what a latex glove mm-hmm. is. And then he's gonna put his designer gloves on top of the latex glove. And he's trying to make it look like it doesn't fit. Well, it doesn't because he has a latex glove under it. It also doesn't because he's like holding his hand big and wide and stuff. You bend, and like, you bend your palm a little, you like flex like like watch how much bigger my hand gets when I just flex. Like yeah. Yeah. He he did what you do to make your hand he not made his hand a little glove. Bit while wearing a latex glove under it. And I was like, everyone, wait, am I the only one that sees this? He's pretending his glove doesn't fit. At the time that was happening, I'm sure everyone was like, but he's wearing a glove. Like, what the fuck? Like, you wouldn't know because there's no social media, but I'm sure like the inner communication of people. that you, There's no way to look at that other than a huge failure on the part of the LA DA, uh, if that's who did it. it. I don't know if it was LA. It, it may have been... Um, that little community they were in, whatever it's called, it ha- you have to put the blame squarely on Marsha Clark and uh, and that other prosecutor. Like like it, it 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 was their case to win or lose, and they and they they lost it. Yeah, they had all the evidence. Like everything was lined up for them to do it. And I'm told that typically the prosecutor is better than the defense attorney. That that, that defense attorney. That's the normal state of affairs. The prosecutor is just like a higher level of attorney. I don't know. There's fewer of those jobs. I think I'm not sure. 
Mm -hmm. But this was the rare inverse of that, where the defense attorneys were just much better than the prosecutor. Oh, yeah. Well, you get that where you've got really rich defendants as well, obviously. You know, yeah. like, mm -hmm. like it, it's like Johnny Cochran was the was the man for that. Uh, for that. And it wasn't just Johnny. He had a whole team of people. You know, there's a whole team of those motherfuckers right, over Pete, there. What a hero. You guys, have you guys <laughs> seen the... Um, Jesus. Uh, the uh, the one with uh, Cuba Gooding Jr., the, the miniseries? Radio. Uh, no. About OJ. Oh, <laughs> not really. No. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. No. Radio <laughs> is hysterical. Um, <laughs> it is but, funny. Okay, so I highly, highly recommend the, the OJ Simpson miniseries. I think they did it on FX. And you've got David Schwimmer, which is Ross from Friends, as um, Kardashian. And you've got uh, um, Cuba Gooding Jr. plays OJ. And um, Marcia, the, the lady that plays Marsha Clark, she's also in a lot of the American Horror Story stuff. She looks a lot like Marsha Clark and does a phenomenal job. Uh, even the guy that got play, to play Ito looks like Judge Ito. And I think it's six or seven episodes. It's excellent. It's so good. It, like, like I'm I'm surprised you guys haven't seen it. It's it's OJ Simpson. What's it called? Like I thought it was called The People versus OJ. Oh, I've scrolled past that on Netflix, I think. Mm. It's the really, really OJ. fucking good. Like, like if you watch the first episode, you'll be hooked. I mean, you know how it ends, right? But still, like learning how they got there is uh fascinating. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. <laughs> That's the one with uh, Cuba? Okay. Didn't Cuba Gooding Jr. recently get uh, some sexual assault stuff? No. Kevin Spacey did. Did Cuba Gooding Jr. also? Yeah, I think they got uh, Cuba. I think he got Me too um, By who? Or him also however you want to put it. <laughs> I've been Holocaust watching uh, People vs. O.J. Simpson, and I thought it was one of the best things I've seen in a really long time. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. plays O.J. Um, um, John Travolta plays uh, Shapiro, uh, Ross from Friends, uh, Sh Schwartz for, for whatever his name is, Schwimmer. Schwimmer plays uh, Kardashian. It's excellent. It's 10 episodes long. Each episode's roughly an hour, I would say. And it's some of the best TV I've seen, seen in a really long time. And you might say like, oh, well, I've seen, I know what happened with the O.J. Simpson trial. I watched it on TV. Or maybe you just, you know, have been caught up on it. No, this really shows you every little thing that happened and fell into place that 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 led to oj simpson being found not guilty and i found it fascinating because i knew the broad strokes i knew what oj had done i knew that he was guilty based on just the little evidence that i was aware of i watched this thing on tv when i was like seven or eight with my grandma but after watching the show and 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 hearing you know it's, it's some of its word for word quotes of the testimony so you're getting the actual facts it's you're getting all the details and then you're seeing how the defense picked that apart and how they distracted the jurors and all the juror issues and and the issue with where the trial was held and and all the little things that happened behind the scenes. Mark Furman, the guy who found all the evidence, they recovered tape of him literally saying about Judge Ito's wife that she sucked and fucked her way to the top of the police force. The, that cannot bode well for your, your prosecution when you got something like that on your hands. So it was just such a shit show that uh, it's it was really worthy of making a whole television show about. I loved it. I loved it a lot. Maybe I'll give it a shot, but I don't know. I, I, I'm just not interested. Right? You know? Like, I, I didn't want to... I don't... It's not, a topic. it's not compelling anymore. As soon as Kyle started talking... I had all these You'll negative get thoughts and I was like, ah, keep your negative thoughts to yourself. Let him, let him do his thing. And maybe Taylor will jump in, but no, instead Taylor and I just both shit all over his topic. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, no, not shitting over the topic itself. I, I, I'm just saying that the, just can't this, care the less. issue that they're making a document doesn't interest me. Like, Oh, it's so good. It's such a small it's, deal. Okay. So let me say this. I, 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 you say that, but when you watch the show, you start to understand the magnitude of what actually happened, and you start fo it focuses in on the victims of all this, the people who were actually hurt. You look at Ron Goldman's family and see the that they're just sitting there, just wanting justice, and they're crying their eyes out every step of the way when they get fucked over by Johnny Cochran and Shapiro. You, it, I swear, it's compelling. You start, you get to the point where you're very invested in these characters, and you want to see what's coming next. Mar the Marsha Clark's story is really good. You know, all the race relations and how that plays into it. Watch one episode. I, I think it'll, it'll be, it'll surprise you. Like, is there an agenda behind it of like, they, the people making it clearly think that he did it or clearly think that he did not do it. So they don't ever show like 
they don't show OJ doing it. They don't show OJ admitting to it or anything like that. But it's clear that they're just showing the facts and 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 the fa everybody thinks he did it. You know, like like there's the characters the characters are portraying people who believe he did it. So they in fact believe he did it. You know, Kardashian was his best friend, but abandoned him and left him after the trial because throughout the trial he he goes from being OJ's closest friend, a guy who's crying his eyes out when he hears what's happened to Nicole and that OJ's wanted for it to a guy who's like, I got to distance myself from this OJ guy. He's, it was fucking him. It was fucking him. And then, it, it, I don't know, check out one episode. I think you'll be surprised. Incredibly strong acting performances. I thought, especially by Cuba Gooding Jr. Who plays OJ did a really, really great job. And uh Schwimmer Schwimmer did amazing. Bronco. Yeah. Dude, they, those old explorers yeah, for OJ. fucking ever. <laughs> Dude. What about OJ? Have you guys happened to see that? Um, did any of you happen to see that documentary on Netflix about? It's about the day when OJ was like running from the police, like the the white Bronco chase, and not about just about that, but what what everything that was happening in sports on that day. It was like a lot of like major things were happening. No, no. it's a good documentary. There was like Jack Nicholas was playing like his last round of golf. Um, the, the the World Cup was going on, I think, in Chicago, and the president was there. Um, and two or three other things happened. I think there was a weird basketball game or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um it was uh either championship basketball or um or division championship basketball. It was it was like the last four or two teams in the NBA. Hmm. And it was all going on while OJ was running from the police in LA. <laughs> that motherfucker got away with that. It's, it's weird to think back on that, that he got away with it when we all know he did it. Mm -hmm. How yes. do you know he did it? Do you remember the kid? Did you watch the case? Because I was a kid, but I, I watched it. I was, a, I was a kid, but the only thing I, I still see Marsha Clark's frizzy hair. <laughs> but the fact is, he was tried by a jury of his peers and they found him to be innocent. Well, right. In the legal sense, yes, he was acquitted of all charges. He didn't yeah, know. and then he was found but guilty in did. the civil court. Of, of criminal damage. I, I, I'm just and, wondering. And his book, his book, he was found guilty, and so his book, book, which was titled "If I Did, did it, it," it was called "If I Did It," and what happened was that book was awarded to his murder victims' families as part of the civil suit, and they changed the size of the text, so it just says "I did it." <laughs> if is so tiny, you can't fucking read it. I look at I look at it this way. I can't stand with people because you're he you're did guilty that shit. and proven, you're, you're innocent until proven that. guilty. And I can't stand when people automatically want to go lynch mob style on somebody before not they automatically. I, I I make that judgment after watching like six weeks worth of deliberations and evidence. I've studied the O.J. Simpson case quite a bit. I remember there, literally. I'm not exaggerating. His blood was found at the murder scene, and there and the murder victim's blood was found at his house on his clothes. Like, like, is that? Let me. I'm not familiar with the OJ Simpson case as well as I should be. Like, what made him get acquitted? Like, what, what was the? What there was, the there was talk of. Um, so one of the investigators turned out to be a racist, and he'd made all these shitty comments. And also, um, there, there was something else that he had done, and it, it, it really looked bad. I didn't and like the so much. So much oh. of the defense seemed like bullshit, right? Of course, the glove thing that everyone knows. If it doesn't fit, it mm -hmm. must have quit. Meanwhile, he's holding his fingers spread out as much as he can, and he has a rubber glove on under his glove. Of course, it doesn't fit. Um, they were saying that he wasn't athletic enough to oh. jump over, like, a four-foot fence or something. Meanwhile, he had just come out with a, like... Uh, exercise tape on VHS. Now, hang on a minute. Let me just point out. This, for, I, I know our audience, probably half of them don't know. OJ Simpson is one of the greatest NFL run and college running backs of all time. The motherfucker won a Heisman. He was a badass athlete. You, He's way above top 1% in athletics. He's top 1% of 1%. One of the greatest athletes ever. And as I remember, the, um, the prosecution like really tried to slam dunk the case with DNA which just got way too complicated, like days and days and days of expert DNA testimony when, and that just confused the jury and allowed, think, allowed the defense to, to bring in all these experts and the glove don't fit. You must acquit. Thing. Yeah. I kind of, when all they that. needed was when all they needed was blood, your blood was there. Her blood was there. Done. No DNA, nothing that. Also DNA, he had motive. He, you know, he knew the, he knew the area. There was blood in his car. The whole thing, man.
And, yeah, and you know, oh, the, wait, prior history, the real right? backstory is there, that OJ... a bunch of 911 calls where he was beating his wife before. Oh, yeah, he'd beaten this woman up before. And Now, I will say this. I don't know what their personal life was. I haven't looked into that. I don't remember what, that, what the deal that was. But this is a woman who divorced him, took half of his money, and then was taking another man back to the house that he had paid for, I believe. Mm. Yeah, Ron so, Goldberg. So, so Ron, yeah, Ron Goldberg had some of the man that was with her. So you can clearly see the motive there. Like that must have driven this guy insane. That that he's that she's left him, taken taken his money, taken his house and everything, and now she's got this new guy that she's taken there. And then all that evidence. A fucking waiter too. Yeah, a and, waiter or something. Who was Cato Kalin? That was the judge. Who's his no. Andy? No, no, that was Cato Kalin was his Andy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. He was living in this pool house. His go-to kind of judge keto, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an Asian guy. Yeah, like I remember that. Do you guys need a whole new topic? Yeah, but like, OJ got his got his just use when he tried. Yeah, when he to, tried to organize an Ocean's Eleven style like raid on him, like heist, and he he quote unquote kidnapped those people by telling them they couldn't leave the room. Now he's gone for like what did they give him like thirty fucking years for that bullshit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they went nuts. <laughs> Fuck time. you, OJ. Fuck. Speaking of uh notorious murderers did you guys happen to see the oj simpson uh clips that were recently re released all right so I i'm gonna be kind of vague about some of the facts because i just don't know them but i've got the general gist of this thing and i and i saw most of it basically what happened was at some point let's let the trial was in like what 92 or 94 somewhere in there or whatever a couple years later a couple years after that uh he does this television interview where he, he, he gives like the hypothetical of if he did it, how he would have done it. And he refers to this other character called Charlie. And he's like, yeah, you know, and uh, Charlie, he, uh, he sneaks over there and uh, he, he starts tussling with Nicole and she falls down and she gets hurt. And then, then this guy, he gets in like a, like a karate formation. And Charlie's like, what, you going to kick my ass? And, you know, then the knife comes out and, and Charlie blacks out. And, you know, and then he starts speaking in the first person. And he's like, you know, and when I come to, there's, uh, there's stuff everywhere. And the lady's like, she, she doesn't even correct the first person thing because she knows she's got gold now. She's like, what kind of stuff? He's like, blood, blood everywhere. And then he, like, talks about disposing of the evidence. And she's like, no, was your wallet on you or did you, like, leave that back in the car? He's like, oh, yeah, I definitely left that in the car. In fact, I know for a fact. Uh, that was left in the car. And then, and then he paused and he's like, he's, he's like I just want to say, <laughs> this is all hypothetical. <laughs> and it's just, fuck, you're just admitting to murdering Nicole Brown Simpson and, 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 and that, 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 Keto, that other guy. Keanu? Ke no, no, that, that was, that Whatever was his, was. Uh, that was Ron. a guy living on his prop property. Ron oh. Goldman was the boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, you're okay. thinking of Cato Kalin, I think. That is who was who I'm like, thinking of. He's yeah. like live. He was like, that weird That's character right. he living was still on. Alive. He was like a real life Pauly Shore or something. It was bizarre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that whole thing was crazy. And uh, so he basically goes through. It's like a five or six minute interview, or at least the excerpts I saw, where Stern was being Stern was like merciless old school Stern today, like going at him about this thing, like doing his O.J. Simpson impression. He's like, and then hypothetically, I. I turned her into a Pez dispenser. <laughs> it, it's, it was just so dark. And then she's like, the reporter, she's like, do you ever visit Nicole's grave? He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I go there and I, I pray to her. And, and sometimes I scream at her and I curse at her. And I, and I say, you, this is your fault. You he did left. say that. Yes, he did. He's like, he, he's, he's like this is your fault. You, it, it's your fault that you know your daughter's now doesn't have a mother now and this and that and and uh, and then like I found out today that apparently there was an incident where OJ was at the gravesite actually screaming and cursing at Nicole's grave wow. and the funeral pe the not the funeral but the 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 graveyard people or whatever call the family and they're like hey. O.J. Simpson is here, and he's screaming at Nicole's grave. And the family's like, "Call the fucking cops! What are you thinking? Why are you calling us? It's fucking O.J. Get run!" It's <laughs> yeah, so right? fucking dark. <laughs> I, I, like, I feel like this generation of people, like if you're 18 years old or something, or you're 20, you're 25 years old, you you weren't old enough at the time to have watched the trial and to know about like what went on. I watched that trial every day with my grandmother, and 
there was even as like a seven year old or whatever I was, there was so much goddamn evidence. It, it, just just like off the top of my head, they found one of OJ's gloves at the murder scene with his DNA on it and her DNA on it. They found the other matching glove at his house also with both of their DNA on it. There was her blood on his clothes at his house. The um, just, It's just so much stuff. And it all got boiled down to like the, the guy uh, collecting the evidence said the N-word a few too many times. It seemed like that was the main defense. It, they, they made it a character assassination of the LAPD, which wasn't really much of a, a very upstanding organization. I mean, let's be real, but, but OJ killed those motherfuckers. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it seems like he did. <clears throat> I, it seems like I mean, I feel like OJ would be a good juror, for example. Yeah, he does know both sides. Yeah. He knows the joy, the unbridled joy of getting off scot-free. I mean... That was his game Love didn't fit. You must have quit. Yeah. I didn't. I God, I loved it. We 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 were talking about uh, guests today in our in our little private chat, and uh, somehow OJ came up, and I was like, mm-hmm. God, I'd love to get OJ. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'd love to get OJ on here because like we Why? we pretend like, like like we'd all wear bills like 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 stuff like like we act like we're the <laughs> biggest Buffalo Bills fans ever, and like like we only want to talk about Buffalo Bills. And maybe a little bit of um, um, the Naked Gun movie series. Like, like I, we're huge Leslie Nielsen fans and the biggest Bills fans on the world. Welcome to the Bills show. Like, we do a completely <laughs> fake intro. Welcome to Bills broadcast episode four ninety nine with your co- with your host Big Bill Richardson, Big <laughs> Bill Michelson, and Big Bill Tonyson. Like, we're the we're the we're the Buffalo <laughs> Bills. <laughs> like, we're all. We're all of us are named Bill, and he's just like, y'all really love the Bills, huh? So, so why did you murder your wife? Why did you murder your wife? Let's cut right. To, let's cut right to the heart of the matter. Why did you cut off your wife's head? And he's gone. You know, what would be funny? <laughs> and just commit to the bit, and we do a four-hour show about the Bills, exclusively talking about Bills records. <laughs> just squander a wonderful like, opportunity for a joke. What was your favorite part of playing football? <laughs> Was it the running, the the tackling, the scoring? Was it or the murder? The murder? <laughs> yeah, we keep trying to trip him up. I'm like, uh, man, you absolutely killed that record for rushing. <laughs> you murdered that rushing record. You slaughtered those two people. Like, just, <laughs> just <laughs> do that. But that's not a good thing because he might come and not kill us. I would immediately do that um who, who who's that other guy that i was just overtly and covertly like cruel to on the show oh the bagel boss <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> yeah we just, just treat him like the bagel boss little irate yeah <laughs> that was just fun. mean to him the whole fucking time is he dead now i know he was in a coma or some shit he's in a coma oh I had, I had a, stroke. He has a heart attack a stroke stroke okay. something like that this little yeah, heart a gave one. out on him or something i don't know it was, just, it, was just a, it was a small stroke. It was a series of mini strokes, <laughs> which for him is devastating. Oh, devastating. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to get OJ Simpson as a guest on this show. That would be the greatest guest of all time. Oh yeah, my he's god, not good. He did a I guess he would be. dude. Go on, Heisman Trophy winner, mm-hmm. NFL superstar, um, movie star, commercial sc- star, real estate mogul, murderer. <laughs> Those like, things, like, like, like the last did, one in particular, I just, but the guy's got to be able to talk. Like, that's the key to it. I, you know, it, oh, he it, can talk. If he, he's funny on Twitter. He's shy. If, if, like, he, he's got to be able to roll with the punches. He's got to be able to tell a story or, you know. Oh, he can. Like, I've yeah. seen him do it. Like, like he's, he did a podcast the other day. Ooh. Uh, this guy, this, um, uh, he did some uh, more of an interview really with this guy who, um, I think is like a Buffalo Bills, like, sports guy or something like that. I, I'm not exactly sure. He, he talked about it on his Twitter. Uh, he's got almost three quarters of a million followers on Twitter, something like something around that now. After being on for like a month and a half or something, I would love to talk to OJ Simpson, and I would point blank call him a murderer at some point in the in the conversation. I, I'd, I'd be like, "We know you that did, would be man. the whole purpose of having him on." <laughs> yeah, just yeah, so you'd be like, OJ, with... thanks for coming on. You killed it. <laughs> you absolutely yeah. killed oh, it on the show. Oh, he'd be fine with that. Yeah. Like, like 
You might think that that would make him uncomfortable. He would love that. He's like, oh, I, he, he'd go, I always kill it, Taylor. I always kill it. And uh. if it's, if it, I, sometimes I kill it twice. <laughs> Hypothetically. Uh, <laughs> Hypothetically. He, hypoth- he did this uh, reality show once called Juiced, mm-hmm. which was like punked, but he's the one punking you. So you're getting juiced. And at one point he play he pretends like he's a used car salesman now and he's selling the Bronco and the Bronco's got a <laughs> bullet hole in it. And he has signed next to the bullet hole, OJ Simpson. And, and these people are coming up to buy it. And he's like, if you ever need to make a getaway, this is the perfect vehicle. You, <laughs> you'll be gone. You'll be gone. He, he, the guy's like, is there still ten thousand dollars cash under the seat? He's like, they say that 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 wasn't even true. That they lie about me. That wasn't true. <laughs> and then this like this cute blonde woman comes up, who looks a little bit like Nicole. And he's like, I just want to say you are, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. He's like, oh well. And she's like, hitting it back. She's like, oh well, thank you. He's like, this is the car you need. This is the car you need. You get a nice car like that over there. Ain't no man go hit on you because they gonna think you got a man back at home taking care of you. You drive around in this and they think this lady could use a man by her side. They gonna hit on you right away. You driving this right here. Best part is you think this is scripted. To... This is too good. No, did, he did a bunch of them. Like like mm-hmm. like like it. It tells the Mexican guy he's like, best part is somebody tries to steal it. Door handle don't even work. You got to reach on the inside to open it up. <laughs> <laughs> When Al Callens was driving me in this thing, we were gone. He's like, so this is your Bronco? Yeah, yeah. He's like, was she like, oh, perfect. This will be this will be great for me and my boyfriend, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. And what? then I found a video, or I was linked one, where apparently OJ did a rap video at one point. He looks like he's about 50, maybe, in this rap video. And he's rapping, and there are blonde women in bikinis dancing all over him. And at one point, they all get topless. There are titties in this rap video. And he's dressed as Elvis Presley, talking about how he's the king. And he's got a little person, a dwarf, also dressed as Elvis Presley, as his backup dancer. And he's like sitting on a throne, talking about his dick, talking about how how like he's the king of this and the king of that, and how, how he's got all this pussy. It's ridiculous. So I think that OJ would make quite the guest. I think he would be very... I, I think mm. you could get him to say some ridiculous shit. I mean, it, I don't know if you've ever seen the interview he did where he talks about hypothetically what he thinks happened the night Nicole was killed. No, I've never heard that. Oh my fucking God. He's telling it from the third person, but occasionally mm. he slips up and goes into the first person. He's talking about this hypothetical guy named Charlie who did it. He's like, you know, and then... And Charlie was like, let's go get him. Let's go in there and see what's going on. And, and so I went with Charlie, you know, and, and I had the knife. And, and Charlie said, no, nah, don't bring that. So I'll take that. And then Charlie handed me the knife. And, you know, I'd just never seen that much blood before. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I, I, he keeps going in and out of the, th- from, from like talking about a hypothetical. And he, he keeps stopping and goes, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to be sure everybody understands. Uh, <laughs> this is a hypothetical. <laughs> Hypothetical. Hypothetical is clearly a new vocabulary word for him because he keeps using it and really enunciating every bit of hypothetical. So it's it, like someone told him, you know, you could tell them hypothetically what happened. He's like, what, what do you mean? He's like, well, if you preface everything you say with hypothetically, you can say <laughs> basically whatever you'd like, OJ. And it's just his new, you know, get out of jail again, free card. You know, he wrote a book called If I Did It, right? Oh, yeah. And it describes how he would have done it if he did it. Uh, and the, the Brown describe exactly what happened. Yes. Yes. He <laughs> describes how, and the, the reporter's like, and then you drop the glove. He's like, well, I must've dropped it cause they found it there. Like it's real fucked up. But the, um, Ron Goldman, I want to say Ron Goldman's family in their civil suit got control of that book. Like, so they changed the title. They made the if incredibly tiny. So it just says, I did it by OJ Simpson. Dude, I'm looking at it. Uh, he's right. It says I did it in big red letters. I don't even see the F. It, it's there not visible go. in this picture. And by the <laughs> way, the full name of the book is If I Did It, Confessions of a Killer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see the F either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's uh. there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's written in very faint gray in the top part of the I. Is that yeah. where it is? Yeah. It says, if oh. I did it. 
Here's on, on eBay, there's a uh, the first edition of it where it says, if I did it, and it has OJ's profile picture on it. I'm showing it to people. So yeah, they like Kyle said, they changed it a whole bunch. This yeah, is just friend- making me like OJ more. I don't know about that. <sighs> he is a cold-blooded murderer. He he cut that woman's head off and stabbed that poor Allegedly. man. Allegedly. Uh, no, definitely. He definitely did. Um, he definitely did. <laughs> that, uh, his funny Twitter videos are winning me back. <laughs> <laughs> That's all over. Yeah, no, he, when he said it in one of his Twitter videos, like it's the first thing he tweeted, where he was like, uh, "Now nah, I've got to get even with some people." And he <laughs> turns it off, and it's like that. You uh, know, I don't know who was left to get even with. OJ has lived like, an interesting life, and it, if he can speak, that make him a great guest. You know who's not a great guest? Elon Musk. Like the, the the fringe fellas on the side, I feel like they always get left out. Which, frankly, kind of for good reason. Like, why are you even there? Nobody, nobody's voting Yang for president. Like, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna make. It. I already said I'm voting. I'm writing an OJ, and OJ is gonna get more votes than than Andrew Yang. Kyle, are you down to write in OJ as well? I would I would write in OJ if I were. All right, he's gonna vote. get two more votes than Andrew Yang is gonna get. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> no, probably not. Man, I'm watching the people. I'm watching the people versus OJ Simpson right now again, the second time. You forget just how many crazy fucking things like like happened during that trial. Like like I had forgotten why it was that uh, why it was that they they had him try on the glove, you know. And then I I caught that part in the show where oh that's right. They found the receipt for the glove proving he owned them. Really? It, yes! Nicole had bought him those gloves. Man, that's a pretty <laughs> damning bit of info. Yes, it is. There were a lot of Almost damning bits. The, yeah, the, the DNA evidence was kind of convincing as well. His blood is at the crime scene. Her blood and Ron Goldman's blood is in his car. Her blood's on his socks in his bedroom. How There's a trail of blood off? that leads to his house. They claim that O.J. Simpson wasn't athletic enough to pull off that murder. Meanwhile, his, like, dancer size video was coming out. Wait, are you joking? Is that really a thing they said? Yeah. From wow. my old memory, but yeah. One of the best athletes of all time. He said he just he couldn't quite edge out what, like, a run-of-the-mill fat serial killer might do. No, couldn't do that. That's crazy. I never watched that series, and I was too young to follow it, but... I, I, was can't, old I can't believe it. We I worked um like tech support like on the phones at the time at this company called QAD. Anyway, all the phones like shut down. And everyone gathered around an FM radio to listen as they announced the verdict. And we were everyone was shocked. The whole world was shocked that that OJ got off. He did. It, it's incredible. Like they, they made the evidence collectors look like racists, and and they made them look incompetent to the point where the people just didn't believe the evidence. I heard, and I don't know if this is true, but they said it during the OJ thing, that normally the prosecutor is more competent than the defense attorney. Normally. Um, and that probably there's a lot of public defenders and stuff that lower that average. But in OJ's case, the defense attorney was more competent than the prosecutor, and mm. they just got outdone. Well, that was definitely true. I mean, it, it, he had a team of of of. of They're still players. stars. Like, you know, Dershowitz is a household name. Um, who was the... Uh, Johnny Cochran, household Johnny name. Johnny Cochran, yeah. Robert um, uh, Kardashian was even there. You know, he was he was on the team. It, it's ridiculous was that, that he got off. Is that his name? The Kardashian was his attorney? For some reason, I thought the kids had a different name. than His, his friend and the attorney, yeah. Okay. It's, it's Kim Kardashian's father. I don't know where it got it in my head that he had a different last name, but I don't... I just made that up, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, well the... The Jenner guy later on, Chris, Chris married uh, Caitlyn Jenner um, hmm. before Caitlyn was Caitlyn Jenner. Um, that's called dead naming someone, by the way, when you use their old name uh, oh. to, uh, to describe them. When it's, it's, it's a real faux pas, I'm told. Really? It's called dead naming. Yeah, you know, it's, I think Kyle's mistake there was innocent, but. Uh... Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'll call him whatever I want. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, no, you'd be correct like, because he was a bruise at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't correcting myself because I felt like I'd made a mistake or I'd done anything wrong. I'll call him Bruce Jenner all day. I don't care. It's got a big old fucking That's dong. A, it sounds really intense. I don't, wait, didn't he have the surgery? Yeah, I'm not sure. Nah, he definitely kept his pecker. Um, I'm gonna Google it. He had wow. a couple surgeries. He didn't get. He definitely didn't get it cut off right away. 
when you're that old, probably just, you know, call it a wrap. Keep it. You know, it's it's served you well. You know? Yeah, I'm with you there. So, you, I mean, do the do the the boob jobs and the, the the grow your hair out and all that, and running into people with your car and nobody remembers because you got away with it. I guess. Didn't he do that? Didn't he yeah, kill someone killed a woman. in a car accident? Killed a woman. Yeah. <laughs> back a lot, buckaroos. <laughs> so <laughs> steamed over someone. She definitely got rid of her penis. Hot. Are you? How do you know? Does is there a picture of the post? <laughs> it's on self dot com. Uh, yes, Caitlyn Jenner revealed that she had gender affirming surgery, but it's no one's business. And they go on to devote paragraph after paragraph saying that we shouldn't care. But sure enough, uh, she got rid of the penis. Yeah, poor Rodney King, man. That guy got the fuck beaten out of him. It's hard to watch that. That's that's why OJ got got set free. Uh, that that that's that's literally why OJ got free. I. I want to say you're wrong, but I feel like it was a contributing factor. It absolutely was. I, they, they were afraid of more riots. They were afraid of more riots. If they if they if they send OJ away, then LA was going to burn again. More truck drivers were going to get their heads caved in with rocks while people danced like they were in uh, Somalia or something. I don't know about enough about that topic to comment on just that, but I think a lot of people underestimate how much is just a pure product of blowback from other things. Yeah. Like the reason we do this, well, we didn't do it because we, we wanted to do this, but we had to because the blowback from the other thing we did. So people, uh, that's, I mean, it's all over the world, just responding yeah. to blowback. It, it's hard to watch that Rodney King thing that I just linked. I mean, they are pummeling this guy in the legs with those batons, and I think they've tased him a couple times. It looks like a taser to me. I didn't know they had those things in 91, but that's just, and then it's all on video, like, that's that that that's why OJ went free. That's why OJ went free. I like the the new Dave Chappelle. It's kind of new uh, special where he's talking about like it'd be funny if OJ like walked out on the NFL field with those them bad knees and then 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 took a knee during the national anthem. Uh, <laughs> fucking OJ. He's in Vegas now. That's 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 where he's living. I heard he uh, got kicked out of a hotel the other night, uh, hotel casino, because he was drunk, being a bit belligerent. You'd think you'd mind your p's and q's, right? No, what was that book he wrote? No, if like, you've already shown that you can if get I away did with it. murder, yeah. it's not going to make you more careful. If you can get away with murder, you're going to start thinking, I can get away with every lesser crime now. He didn't get away with kidnapping. He just did like nine, how many years? Nine, ten? Oh, yeah, that's true. It, 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 no, dude just got out. Yeah, how, how long was OJ in jail? Let's see. Uh, how long was OJ in jail? Nine years, I called it. Yeah. All right. Holy shit. Yeah, he came out all fat. He'd been eating those Snickers bars constantly, working as a janitor. This is a guy who won the Heisman, right? This is this is a guy who fucking was was in car commercials and and in uh, the the those movies with Leslie Nielsen, right? They wanted him for the Terminator movie to play the Terminator. You know why they didn't pick him? He was too likable. Imagine uh, they, got, so they got Schwarzenegger. There was a time when O.J. Simpson was too likable. To be the goddamn Terminator. Nowadays, I'd love to see that shit, right? Like, dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun. na 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 No, run! na 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 Sawing people's You'd have heads. plenty of time, because he'd take the time to completely saw the heads off of all of his victims. <laughs> instead of just killing them. And then after and I, he's done, he'd always hide his gloves. And, and with the bad knees, he's kind of got that slow Terminator walk now. Like at the end, when all the flesh <laughs> is burnt off. I'd watch that shit. I, I really would. I, he's I, definitely I, believable as a villain. Uh, he, I, I feel like he's such a likable guy, though. I bet if you, if we hung out with OJ, like in real life, like if we met OJ at a bar and he was a little tipsy, and like nobody else had recognized him for whatever reason, we were like, "Juice, is that you?" Yeah, man. Keep it on down low, though. Okay. Could, could we have a beer with you? Get the juice another beer. I feel like we could, we could sit down with that guy, talk about Leslie Nielsen. Oh, he was a great man. Oh, he's a great man. So funny. So funny. Such a, a tantalizing neck on that man, I remember. Uh, just a, you could, you could I just love to you. bury a kitchen right knife there. in. You know, I, I had to keep my hands in my pockets, you know? because you no, know, I would not buy O.J. Simpson a beer. Oh, he's a literal, he, he's a murderer. There's, would you uh, buy a huge... George Bush? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'd buy any president a beer just because it's like, you're, like, you got enough money. You should be buying me a beer. It's not about you don't buy girls beers because they're broke. I'm not trying to fuck OJ or George W. Bush. Well, I I, I have to be. I mean, if, if anybody's gonna do the, the, the doing the fucking, it's gonna be OJ. You're gonna be getting fucked by OJ. That that's how oh, that's going. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, and my head will be six yards east 
You know, <laughs> he's a top. I guarantee but, you. Yeah, I, I guess I would buy any president a beer. I don't. I don't like Obama, but like I'd buy him a beer just yeah, to talk. I'd love to speak like that'd be Obama. cool. Yeah, absolutely. Like like any president, really. Like like uh, they all seem. They, you don't get to that position in, in politics or in anything without being incredibly charismatic and and interesting to talk to, engaging. I would. I feel like I always hear people talk about uh, Bill Clinton and like when he shakes your hand and like his body language and how like he does the double hand thing. Like he, he grabs your hand and then he brings the other one in and Greg cups the back of your hand. And he pulls you in and leans himself in and really smiles and looks you, you in the eye. Like you're the only one in the world. Yes, I <laughs> Man, I thank you for supporting my campaign. My, I know Hillary's a little out there, and sure, she, for being real, she's the Antichrist, but God damn it, you got to vote for her. She's going to put me back in that cell. She's been holding my soul. She made a deal with Satan himself. But actually, I use my OJ's better. free. The juice is loose. He's out. <laughs> He's on the fucking. I don't know if he's on the streets yet, but it's coming. Like, uh, they, 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 yeah, but it, is it it's October first? They granted that motherfucker parole, and, and he looks so happy, and it was visceral. You could feel the relief in that man, and there was this tension. There was this Game of Thrones type moment where, like, they went from parole board member to parole board member. The first guy's like, "I'm a grant parole." Second guy, I'm, "Me too." And then this lady's there, and she's like, "Well." I'm gonna reserve my decision for a moment, but let me make a few remarks first. And I'm like, "Oh shit." This white woman might not be too. <laughs> As she said, she's just like, you've done this and you've done that, but just know, we don't look kindly upon parole violence. And I was like, all right, they're letting him out. They're letting him out. And then when she finally said, and I vote to grant parole, he just he's just like, oh, thank you, thank you. And there was this moment as they're taking him out of the courtroom where he looks at someone behind the camera. And he's like, I'll call you. <laughs> you know, and he's thinking to himself like. I'll be able to call you. I'll have a goddamn phone and shit. Oh, I'm gonna get some bitches. I heard about Tinder. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> so what, uh, catch me up on like the actual. What was this for? Because this had nothing to do with the murders yeah, in the nineties. Ten years ago, ten years ago, there was some. Um, I think this stemmed from the the, the 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 aftermath of his civil trial in which he was found <laughs> liable for the deaths, and they took a lot of his trophies and memorabilia away from him and auctioned it off. Well, I think this stems from that. There was a man who had some of his memorabilia, some of his trophies or something like that. And it's a little convoluted. And it seemed like OJ was being set up because there was an audio recorder rolling the whole time. But basically, OJ and a couple other guys go up to this guy's hotel room where the, the stolen goods are. Um, and, and he's like, nobody's leaving. And that's kidnapping. That's kidnapping. When you say, nobody's leaving this room, I'm O.J. Simpson, I'm here to take care of some business, now you have kidnapped them under the, under, under the law, and that's what they got him for. The this, people this whole, he was with had guns. Yeah, there was this whole, and so there was a conspiracy, and they're there, and it seemed like O.J.'s being set up. It really does, but, but nobody really cared because he killed those people back in the 90s, so they, they sent him to fucking prison on some crazy long uh, what, thing. What year was this when he was put away? About, like he's been in jail for now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the the parole people, I thought this was interesting. They cited his lack of prior convictions when they decided to grant parole. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, well, I guess that is how the law works. If you're found innocent of those murders, even though we all know he's not innocent, right? His alibi was he was out golfing in his front yard. <laughs> Fuck. Um, he's guilty of those murders. Everybody knows it. But he got granted parole because this is the first thing he's ever done, you know, yeah. trying to get his memorabilia back and nine years was enough. Yeah. I felt like it was enough, um, especially for this thing. And, and, and look, I know he killed those people and I've looked at it in depth. I watched both of the, I watched both the ESPN thing and the, the dramatization with all those great actors. And like, I lived through it. Like I, I can, I can totally remember sitting there and watching the O.J. Simpson trial with my grandmother or my mother because they both watched it. Everybody watched it. It was primetime TV in the daytime. It was crazy. He's a murderer. But God, there was I, I honestly there was a part of me that when they gave him parole, I was like, I felt good for him. I felt good for him because he was getting because something so big and good was being given to someone. It, it, it didn't matter who he was or the other stuff. I was just watching a man being given something that he wanted so badly and that felt good, just to watch that happen, regardless of anything else. When they gave him parole, you could tell, like, oh, this was better than the Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> this was better than breaking the rushing record. This was better than killing Ron Goldman. He <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, because I really do think he's a murderer. But I also think he's 70. 
And there, there's something, it's like, I don't know. I, I, I just have a little more tolerance, I guess, a little more kindness for someone who's going to die in whatever, five, six years. Well, I, I can't I help but contrast it to the last conversation, just a little bit, right? Like, and I'll put this out there for deliberately okay. for hyperbole, and then we'll, I'll just back away from it after that, right? Which is the, the effort of giving someone the identity they've asked for compared to the granting a, a convict, uh, not a convicted, a murderer that no. we all know did it, <laughs> a parole. Like, yeah. that contrast is fucking with me a little bit right now. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, I, I guarantee totally. if I tell that if I tell that guy in the moo moo like you're you're a beautiful woman, he's not gonna have the same look on his face as O.J. Simpson did when they said you're free to go fuck white women again. He was he was so think, happy. Do you think that he's gonna commit another crime or no, anything? No, fucking straight and narrow. He, I <laughs> yeah. guarantee O.J. He's, never. He's got away crime. with one big one, and he's just yeah. walked out of finishing a second one. Really? <laughs> no, he's gonna go I don't know. Never again. Never again. Never you know again. He can't drink. Well, barely drink. If his blood alcohol level is over 0. 0.8, this is not a driving thing. It just if he exists. 0. 0.08. Yeah. Did I say it wrong? Yeah, 0. 0.8. You'd be long dead. Oh, did I say 0. 0.8? My mistake. 0. 0.8 uh, is a drinking episode. 0. 0. 0.08. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if his blood alcohol level is over 0. 0. 0.08, uh, and that's not driving, just he exists that way, then he goes back to jail. How does he? It's, how do they? Oh, do they have like a bracelet on? Like uh, uh, I didn't. I didn't read about that. I just read that he's not allowed to be drunk. Probably that bracelet doesn't read something like that, but probably it's spot check style stuff. How long is that on for? What's his parole length for? Does anyone know? I, don't, I didn't hear terms. I don't think they've agreed to terms, maybe. Maybe that's something that comes next. I don't know much about this stuff. I don't but, know either. But I guarantee he don't even care. They're like, OJ, um, they're going to let you out, but you had to transition to a woman. Sold! Sold! Yeah, right? Sold. Oh, OJ! Like, <laughs> you just like uh, you can't, you can't drink anymore. Well, isn't isn't weed legal a bunch of places now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna move there. You know, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> he. That's actually. I got confused at that part of it. I think they don't want him to live in Florida. Is that the deal? I think he said something like, "I know you guys that's don't a want me here." Situation. One yeah. state's like, "You killed someone here. Go to a different state." All right. Yeah. <laughs> like, he killed in You're Nebraska's problem right? now. He's, yeah. uh, anyway, so the, he's – if I read it right, they don't want him in Florida. So he's like, I'll go to Vegas. You guys good with Vegas? And they're like, yeah, we'll make the necessary arrangements. Sweet. I All right. I, they, I, they get, that's where they got the legal weed. He's good then. Do they have legal weed in Vegas? <laughs> sure do. Just, just got it. They're out. They sold out in like two weeks. You mentioned Hasselhoff. People maybe don't know. He was this minor celebrity in the U.S. at Baywatch and everything. It's like, oh, yeah, that's Hasselhoff or whatever. He was this international musical sensation in Europe. They loved really? his fucking... Yeah. Yes. Like a big deal. The ha. And do you know why he's not famous in the U.S. as an international? Uh, because he was... My, uh, David Hasselhoff, he was in Europe, nailing it huge. Everybody loved him. He was going to do his U.S. musical debut... And that's when OJ did his uh, Bronco chase. That night was David Hasselhoff's big pay-per-view event. No. And OJ fucking killed his wife and escaped through the Broncos. So it totally fucked up his, his U.S. music launch. Oh, I think. God He's damn the it, OJ. There. Turns out OJ ruins more than two lives that night. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> what he stole from us. He stole so much from us. And his Twitter's not even that funny. OJ? Yeah. OJ. A lot of it is just like jokes like, ha, oh, I killed her. Jo J yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I murdered someone and was <laughs> tweeting from a golf course drinking a Mai Tai right now. And it's just like him, sunglasses on, Mai Tai. Yeah. Wearing like, like holding up like, what do you guys think about my golf glove? And it's like, oh, J Jesus, OJ. Like, OJ that's a funny, worst, funny man. joke. You know, it, but I don't know how people I'm pretty sure he killed him. those people. Oh, I've definitely killed those people. Like, I'm so sure he killed those people. He wrote that book called If I Did It, you know? Like, he killed those people. Oh, you're people. so sure of that, but you defend <laughs> Bill Cosby all day, every day. No, I don't. He raped <laughs> all of those people. All women. day, I every do. day, oh Kyle's defending I defend Bill Kevin Cosby. Spacey because I think it's justifiable. Whatever yeah. it takes to fuel that mind that creates those films is worth it in the long run. A hundred years from now, when you look at that art, that he creates. You won't think about some 14-year-old whore who's who was who was at an adult party for some reason doing cocaine. You'll think of 
I don't know, American Splendor. You'll think of The Usual Suspects. You'll think of House of Cards, just not the last season. No, House of Cards isn't okay, remembered okay. at all.